Hi guys, it's Anthony here at DIY Auto Tech. We're going to be showing you how to evacuate, recharge an automotive AC system today. Sure. So the machine has to be accurate, right? So that it measures the right amount of refrigerant. We're going to tell it exactly how much refrigerant we want to put in. We're also going to tell it how long do we want it to evacuate for. We're also going to tell it after it evacuates, do we want this machine to hold vacuum for five or ten minutes to see if it has a leak. So this machine is, becomes your best friend. You can set it up on this car, go to another car, go to another car, go to another car, listen for it to beep, come back to here, start the car, do a performance test, boom, it recovers the refrigerant, right? When you evacuate it, that means you're going to put refrigerant in here, it recycles the refrigerant, it has filters, it cleans the refrigerant, stores it, and then puts refrigerant back in. And the cool part is, at the, at the beginning, it's going to tell me when I recover, it's going to tell me how much refrigerant did I recover. Did I recover one pound, one ounce? Did I recover about a pound? So it's going to be able to tell me from what it takes to fill the system to what I had, what's the difference? An ounce, half ounce? That way you know, you don't want to overfill it and you definitely don't want to underfill it. And they're both just as critical. It says refrigerant, 13.70 pounds. That means I have 13 pounds of refrigerant in the system. I can do a few cars, right? Uh, go ahead and let's hook the lines up first. Well, you always want to remember that the lines are, right? When you're going to open it, you screw it in, right? Because the pinto will come out and you'll depress the Schrader valve. So always don't assume anything. Don't assume that somebody else has done your job. So make sure, I always check, make sure that both of the lines, red is high, blue is low. They're different sizes. You're not going to be able to co-mingle them. They're completely different sizes. I'm going to let you go ahead and snap it on there. There we go. Remember what I said? Always when you want to do it, you want to check it. Right? You want to go side to side up and down, side to side to make sure it's locked on there. Same thing here, side to side. Yeah. Side to side, pull up, right? Okay. So, I'm going to do what? Start, stop, tells you automatic. I'm going to go automatic. Do I want to recover? Do I want to recover the refrigerator? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to hit yes. Do I want to do vacuum? Yeah. I think so. Vacuum time defaults at 10 minutes. That's eh, a little too quick for me. So I think we'll put, I think 20 minutes is enough in a newer car? All right, newer car, it says press start or that. I'm gonna hit start. Leak check, do I wanna do leak check? I wanna do leak check. How much leak time? 10 minutes, that's too much. I'm gonna go, oh, Five. So that's going to be five minutes. So it's going to, after it evacuates it, recovers it and all that, it's going to pull the vacuum, then it's going to hold it. And it's going to look at the gauges and it's going to know if you have a leak. Hopefully it's a newer car. Hopefully you, you don't have a leak. Because it is sniffed leak time, five minutes. Do I want to charge it after I'm all done with that? I think so. How much? One. Point, how much is it? 1.1 pounds. One? Is that right? Everybody look? 1.10, is that correct? Everybody agree? You said it was 1.1? One. Gonna hit start. Do I want to recover? I think so. Okay. But before we do this, and uh, let's go ahead and tighten down the fittings. Everybody look over here and see what happened. Blue went to about 60, red went to 60, they're both equal because the system is off, car is off, AC is off, that's called equalization, right? So it says, press start to recover. Initializing pressure, clearing in process, press start to skip, we're not going to do that part, that means it's going to start evacuating in a second. Hear it? Everybody listening? 
So it says recover in progress. Recovered what? 0 0.3, 0 0.04, 0 0.07, 0 0.09, 0 0.10, 0 0.11. It's going to tell us when it's all done how much recovered. Get your work order. We're going to write it down on there. So we keep track of how much refrigerant, how much he had in there, and how much, if, if any, we need to add to make him have a full charge. Seconds. Okay, it's just got a huge vacuum pump in here. It's okay. sucking everything out of the system. It's drawing a huge vacuum on the AC system, pulling all the contaminants, the water, moisture, any dirt particles, anything else that's taking it out. Huh? Yeah. It's down to about 22 right now. It'll go down to almost 30 inches of mercury. So. I can set the timer or whatever. To the next step, now we're on leak check. Five minute leak check, we've got four minutes, 51 seconds to go. So what it's doing now, it's seeing if there's any leaks in the system at all. I'm Here we go, it's charging. Do not disturb. <laughs> yeah, don't disturb it. Don't hit the machine, you guys. Don't push on the machine because it's checking the scale. Oh, that's cool, it builds the pressure up. And what's fully charged? 1.1 pounds, right? 1.1. Yeah. And then it'll tell us we're done, equalize hoses, and then we'll start it up and run it. Equalize hoses. Yes. Okay. Do what it says. Read the screen. You're helping me. Get your mask on. Watch the hoses. Get the mask on. Get on my face. One of the useful things about cutting commanders though is hose off first. Back it up. There we go. Okay, pull it off. Alright. Okay, disconnect high pressure hose and press start to begin. <laughs> disconnect the other side. Where's the same I just told you to do it. <laughs> Put his caps back on. Start her up. Alright, Mustang. Oh, that's gonna freeze me out. All right, now we're just checking the temperature. Make sure it gets below about 30, oh, 35. Blow. All right, it's getting pretty cold now. I'm seeing about 30, yeah, 32. Maybe about 30. All right, and then we have got a fully recharged AC system. It's been another video from DIY Auto Tech. We'll see you next time.